Welcome to Tenet 10. We are going through Christ the Healer and um, it's been a great series. We're looking at the redemption of man through the ransom of Jesus Christ. And so we're going to just pick that back up and keep on going. All of this that we're reading about the redemption and all and the price that Jesus paid, all of that has to do with our healing because sickness and sin is from the devil and it, and there is a price to be paid for that and Jesus paid the price for it so that we could experience healing and health so I just want you to, to understand that to see that so let's go into our Bibles to 1st Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 1st Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 for you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers but with the precious blood of Christ a lamb without blemish or defect man that is such good news that Jesus has paid the price for us now let's go to Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 Hebrews 9 verse 12 it says he did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves but he entered the most holy place once and for all by his own blood having obtained eternal redemption having obtained eternal redemption in other words he paid the ransom once and for all. You don't have to pay the price. It is by grace that we are saved. It is by grace that we receive the healing power of God. And you don't have to pay a price because Jesus has already paid the price for us. I love it in that, that last little bit. It says, having obtained eternal redemption and it was by the blood of jesus christ so let's enjoy the healing power of god it's an eternal redemption it's a ransom that has been paid it says uh, in my notes it says that, that redemption is still good today that's so good to know because it's eternal it's still good today and then the other part of my notes says once and for all and let me say it this way once and for all for all in other words you've not been left out Jesus paid the price for you he paid the price once and for all for all so you can just kind of put that thought aside as a matter of fact the word of God says we take every thought and every imagination we take it captive, those thoughts and imaginations that set themselves up against the knowledge of God or against the Bible. So if you've had a thought that uh, it's not for you, that it's for someone else, that you've done so many bad things that this could not be for you, you, you have just heard from the word of God and you need to take that thought captive. Jesus paid the price for you because you are valuable. You are invaluable to him. And he wants you to experience his fullness in your life today. God bless.